and we're back hi guys so let me start off first by saying i am so sorry i know i have not given y'all any content and i'm not gonna sit here and give you an excuse after excuse as to why i'm just gonna do better that's it so let's start here so if you're here as you see can see by the title of the video i will be doing a piercing video mainly because i got my conch done recently so excuse my hair my nails i'm just not on point today okay my conch which is right here in the center of my inner ear i got this done february 9th so maybe almost two weeks ago yep that's the conch right there so that's what we're going to be talking about today if you guys would like to see a piercing tour please comment down below i have a bunch of other piercings i have two up here i don't really wear that but two lobes my forward helix my dave tragus on both sides my rook i have a helix up here i don't have a piercing a earring in my i guess you could say mid helix and yeah my conch so i have here in my notes some information on you know pain experience um you know how it go okay so I got my conch done February 9th. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get some juice. Hold on. The pain level, it wasn't that bad. I can tell you this my rook hurt way more. Pain level out of 10, I would give it mm, 5 or 6 out of 10. I put 6 out of 10. I also felt it when the jewelry was being inserted. So he put the needle through. That hurt. Um, inserting the jewelry, that hurt as well. So, And you can see I do have a video of me um, getting it pierced. I will insert that in the video too. Um, it did bleed, but barely it didn't bleed that much um when i got to the car i did look in the mirror and it was more blood in the back of my ear just a little bit but it was dried up so it wasn't too bad um the pain it did it was sore afterwards it was like i wouldn't say throbbing but when i put my mask when i was taking my mask off in the car it like hit it a little bit that junk hurt not too bad but it hurt like like that um i didn't have any swelling he did mention in the at the end of the video that it would swell a lot and i have not experienced that at all um no bruising either um to clean it i do use this let me show you Um, the Nail Med Piercing Aftercare. This I got off of Amazon. So that's, I guess, what I recommend you get it. I didn't see this in Walmart. I don't know if they carry it. But they do have the regular one. This one I like more because the mister. It does mist out. So you can get your piercing at any angle. And not too much sprays out too harshly. So... I do recommend you get this that works good I clean it twice a day morning and before bed I'll spray the back and I like to use a mirror so like I'll take like any compact I have and I'll just do that in the mirror so I can see the back of the piercing 
I don't know if you guys can see. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. It hurt a little bit, so I'm not going to do that. Um, it is sore. Not that bad, but I'm not sleeping on it. Um, it's kind of difficult because I do have my forward helix I got done about a little over two months ago, almost two and a half months ago. And my days, I got it done a week after I got my um, forward helix. So it's, I don't really sleep on this side either. So I'll like either cut my hand over my ear like this. They do recommend you use a travel pillow and just put your ear in there. I don't have that, but that is a good idea. Um, yeah, so I'm going to insert the video so you guys can see me get it actually pierced. All right. So when I get the two, I'm just going to take a nice deep breath in. All right. Okay. And take three, just go ahead and let it out. So one, two, and three. All right, that's the worst. Okay. So you can feel a tiny bit of pressure here. Okay. <laughs> Quick. Yeah, definitely not nearly as long as like the, the, the interior piercings. Yeah, your rug. Four heel is like a long one. Mm -hmm. All right, so these swell pretty excessively. You can see by the expression in my eyes, my eyelashes, my eyelashes were crazy that day. I don't know why I put them on. They were just blinking the whole time. Y'all bitches ain't got these. Hold on, cause I thought a bitch was still well twenty five C or something. I thought a bitch. Was ah! What is that? What is what? But I did close my eyes like that when I felt the pain. Like that junk hurt. But my rook, my rook hurt so much more than my conch, and it was very quick. So if you do want to get your um conch done i highly recommend you do that because you feel the pain for a second if you have a good piercer they'll make it quick and easy boop boop and it's out and the most you'll feel is like the soreness or throbbing but you could take an ibuprofen and be fine be careful with airpods y'all i could still wear mine if i wear like the left one in my right ear it goes in fine still i have the airpod pros and it doesn't actually touch this so i'll be good but i don't recommend you guys do that but if it's not hurting you why not you know but yeah there goes the conch make sure you guys look up the tattoo shop you're going to Look up the reviews, look at what people say about their experience because chances are if it's bad, you're not going to be satisfied with what you get done. Um, I've seen a lot of horror stories on YouTube. I've been watching a lot of videos on different piercings and just do your research guys. Make sure they clean your ear with the alcohol. This is highly important. Um make sure you know where you want your conch piercing at because you can get it on the outer part or you can get it more in the middle of your ear which will be like further in this way you can get it further in that way which is the middle that you wouldn't be able to see directly head on i got mine <clears throat> excuse me I got mine more that way so that looking straight forward you'll be able to see it that's what I personally like that's what I personally like better 
also for that reason i'll be able to wear a hoop and i wouldn't have to get such a big hoop if my piercing were in the middle of my ear the hoop would just have to be really big for it to even fit and that's just not my preference so i got mine more that way so you can see it head on a lot of videos i've seen their piercer just didn't even let them pick the spot and just pierced it that no 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 if i'm paying you money i'm gonna have to be in love with the placement like make sure you like the placement before they pierce your ear whether you have to move it three times four times twice just do that you're paying your money and you should be able to like where the placement is so I do like my placement more so because you can see it looking head on. I do plan on changing. I don't know why I keep touching it. My hands are clean, but I'm so extra. Okay, guys, I do like the placement of it. I do love the jewelry. It's so little and dainty. I didn't want anything out there and gaudy, you know. I could always change it later on after it heals. Do not change your piercings before the healing time, guys. That, I made a mistake with my days and that's just a whole nother video. It's not bad, but it did irritate it and no, 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 don't do that. Listen to your piercer, research the shop, research your piercer, look at the reviews. Even if you take pictures of or see pictures on Pinterest or Instagram of sorry so here if you see pictures that you you know inspo pics of piercings you want show your piercer that if you don't know exactly about placement because you're paying your money you should be able to do that and love your piercing and that's all guys I feel complete now I feel like there's nothing else I want. If so, which I highly doubt because healing process, sleeping, I'm just over it at this point. Yeah. My conch completes me and I'm in love with it. So yeah guys, let me know if you want to see any other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to do that, please. And stay tuned for more videos.